Hello, everybody. Welcome to the English Danny Channel 30 Day Challenge. We're making 30 videos in 30 days to help you towards better English fluency. Each day, we'll show you useful and interesting topic based words and phrases that you can use to have real conversations in English. Come on, let's learn together. Our topic for today is damage. But before we get into the topic, let me remind you to please like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're enjoying our content, why not subscribe? Also, check the description below for a link to a free ebook which can help you even more with learning English. Now, back to the lesson. I was in a car accident. I wasn't injured, but my car was badly damaged. By now, you've probably learned different words to describe health, but how would you describe the state of a car, a house, or a window? Or what about a business, a school, or a bank account? For these kind of things, we use the word damage. People get injured, but things get damaged. Here are some more words and phrases for talking about damage to things. Let's start with a verb. Break, broke, broken. I break the egg. I broke the egg. The egg is broken. You can break an egg or a bone, but you can also break a promise. If I don't keep my promise to you, you can say that I broke my promise. Scratched. A scratch is a mark on the surface of something. The CD on the left is scratched. You can scratch glass or metal, and you can also scratch your skin. If you've ever owned a cat, you've probably been scratched before. There's a saying in English that there's nothing worse than an itch you cannot scratch. Cracked. A crack is damage with lines showing where something has split but not come completely apart. This glass is cracked. Dry land can also become cracked. And a person who is acting crazily can also be described as cracked. He seems cracked. What's wrong with him? Torn. Something is torn when you tear it into pieces or put a hole in it. This is a torn piece of paper. Paper can easily be torn, but clothing can also get torn. And when someone is not sure which of two options to choose, we can describe that person as torn. I'm torn between staying home and going out tonight. Stained. To stain something is to mark it with a color or to recolor it entirely. This is a blue stain. If you spill coffee on your shirt, you get a coffee stain. Some stains can be washed off, but some are permanent. Dented. A dent is a hollow or a depression in something, usually coming from a strong blow. The hood of this car is dented. We also use the word dent or dented to describe a noticeable effect, especially a negative effect on something. That trip put a dent in my savings. This loss has dented our pride. Burned or burnt. To burn something means to mark it with fire or heat. These are two pieces of burnt toast. I burned my finger when I touched the frying pan. One more phrase for today, worn out. 
When something is so badly damaged by use or age that we can't use it anymore, we say that it's worn out. These old boots are worn out. We can also use that phrase, worn out, to mean completely tired. I'm worn out after working so hard today. So, let's review. Things can be damaged in many different ways. They can be broken, scratched, cracked, torn, stained, dented, burned or burnt, and completely worn out. These are some common examples. Do you know any other English words for describing damages? Share them in the comments section below. That's it for today. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying our content. Be sure to keep watching our 30-day challenge. We're making 30 videos in 30 days to help you towards better English fluency. Each day, we'll have a fresh list of vocabulary words like this one. I'll see you all in the next video.